Welcome back to Celeb Buzz. Today we're diving into a shocking political revelation involving the Democratic Alliance, South Africa's business elite, and the fierce rivalry with the economic freedom fighters and Umkonto with Sizwe Party. Recently, DA Federal Chair Helen Zill revealed that her party was under intense pressure from business interests to protect President Cyril Ramaphosa from the growing influence of the EFF and MK party. In a recent address at the SA Chamber of Commerce in the UK, Zilla disclosed that South Africa's business leaders saw Ramaphosa as a safer bet for the economy. With fears of instability, if the EFF and MKP gained power, the DA was urged to help shield Ramaphosa from these parties. Zilla's exact words were, most of the business community wanted us to prop up Cyril Ramaphosa and protect him from the EFF and MK. This revelation highlights the deep concerns held by both the DA and big business about the direction South Africa could take if the ANC aligns more closely with these parties. The DA has long held that the MK party, which has roots in former President Jacob Zuma's administration, and the EFF, led by Julius Malema, would drive away investors and destabilize the economy. They have gone so far as to call these groups unsuitable for leadership, warning that they could run the country into the ground. The stakes are high. The DA believes an alliance between the ANC, MK party, and EFF would trigger economic instability, causing international investors to pull back and potentially setting back economic progress. The May 29th election saw the ANC lose its outright majority forcing it to form a coalition government, and the MK party's strong performance gave the DA plenty to worry about. The MKP, which gained significant ground in this election, became the third largest growing party in South Africa. To the DA, this is a nightmare scenario. If the EFF and MKP secure influential roles in the government, they warn, investors could be scared off which would devastate South Africa's economy. International ratings agency Fitch has already issued a warning that an ANC alliance with the MKP or EFF could threaten the country's macroeconomic stability. Back home, this new coalition has raised more than a few eyebrows. Sali Mapala, General Secretary of the South African Communist Party, had harsh words for the ANC's coalition with the DA calling it a spit in the face of black South Africans. Mapaila argued that the DA's policies do little to develop black communities and that partnering with them is a betrayal to many who have struggled under economic inequality. Mapaila's comments reflect the broader tension within the ANC's coalition as it faces the challenge of balancing diverse agendas and addressing community needs. Zilla's recent statements shine a light on just how divided South Africa's leadership remains, even in coalition. As the DA, EFF, ANC, and MKP reflect on their first 100 days of shared governance, opinions vary. Some are praising the stability achieved so far, while others voice deep concerns about the coalition's direction. Zilla's remarks combined with criticisms from the SA Communist Party and influential business leaders, show that the future of the government of national unity remains uncertain. So, what do you think? Was the DA's decision really in the best interest of South Africans, or was it simply a move to keep big business happy? Is this coalition government sustainable? Or will the rising influence of the MK Party and EFF lead to further division and instability? Drop a comment below with your thoughts and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more insights into South Africa's political landscape. Thanks for watching Celeb Buzz and stay tuned for more updates on the stories shaping the nation.